The history of Bengals in India is portrayed in one of its oldest artworks, the bronze figurine of a dancing girl unearthed at Mohenjo-daro. This illustrates the antiquity and the universality of wrist jewelry in India. This figurine stands with one arm at her hip and other arm entirely burdened down with a bunch of bangles. Ancient remnants reveals such bangles were crafted from clay, stone, shells, copper, bronze, gold, even glass. From plain metal bands to the ones covered with engraved and intricate themes of birds and animals encrusted with diamonds, bangles comes in all kind of designs and shades. Namaste everyone, welcome to another interesting video from Brahmaj. I have received a lot of views, likes and comments for my video about the scientific significance of Bindi. A lot of my subscribers ask me to create a video on the scientific significance of bangles. So here we are. Before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and hit that bell icon. Okay. Let's begin. In this video, I have included What is a bangle? History of bangles Scientific significance of wearing bangles Health benefits What Vedas say about bangles So, what is a bangle? Bangles are rigid bracelets, usually made from metal, wood or glass and nowadays they are making it out of plastic which is completely wrong. A bangle is one of the most important ornament that an Indian woman wears. Married woman wears bangles because bangles hold a special significance for them. The word bangle was derived from the word bangri which in Sanskrit means an ornament which adorns the arm. Most of us are under the impression that wearing bangles is just for beauty, fashion and show off. But it is not the main reason for wearing bangles. There are some shocking secrets which lies behind the tradition of wearing bangles. It was thought for years that Egyptians invented the bracelet, being crafted from stone, bone and wood. But the history of wristwear goes back further. In 2008, a collection of jewelry was found in a cave in Siberia which included a green stone bracelet that predates the Egyptian civilization. Bangles and bracelets have been found in many civilizations including ancient Mayan, Roman, Indian and Mauryan ruins and have been worn by many cultural groups for different reasons. But according to Western and Indian historians, the concept of wearing bangles came from ancient Indian civilization. In ancient days, men used to go to work in farms and forests which involves a lot of muscle work, while women used to do all the household works. Though household chores are no less work. Especially keeping the fact in mind that no grinders, washing machines or any other modern machineries available at that time. But compared to men's work, it's kind of less. Yet again, there is no automobiles to travel, no cranes, no tractors in those days for men to do farming and other works. So there is a chance of high blood pressure. If there isn't enough physical activity. Although women do a lot of household work, their physical activity is often considered less. This may affect in increased blood pressure which result in developing impatience. Blood Circulation and Energy Normally, our wrists are in constant motion. In case of any alignment or any checkups, even our pulse is measured through our wrist exclusively. The bangles and the wrist are in constant friction with each other which leads to a high rise in blood circulation level. 
Bangles helps in sustaining and recharging our energy levels as well. The energy coming out through the skin is again reverted to our own body because of the ring shaped bangles. Since the bangles are round in shape, there are no ends to transmit the energy outside and hence the energy is reversed back into the body. Fetus and Acoustic Stimuli According to the Indian tradition, bangles are gifted to an Indian woman during her baby shower. According to a scientific study, during the seventh month of pregnancy, the brain cells of a baby start developing and the baby start recognizing sounds. The tinkling sound of a bangle provides an acoustic stimulus for a baby. Studies have shown that cheerful and calming music reduces a pregnant woman's stress and depression and helps the fetus develop the baby's ability to hear. According to gynecologist, a pregnant woman who is stressed out is more likely to give birth to a preterm or an underweight baby. Emotional Balance Research made on women wearing glass bangles and those wearing bangles made of other synthetic materials revealed that glass bangles vibrated and acted as pacifiers and moderators of strong emotions. Those wearing non-glass bangles were found to be excessively emotional to the given situations and stimulus in the experiments conducted. And the last, positivity. Glass bangles were found to absorb goodness and purity from the atmosphere and radiate them onto the wearer. The sound caused due to the jostling of bangles with each other is also found to be soothing and gentle. It was also found that glass bangles repulsed bad vibes in the surroundings and protected the body from the wearer from negative energy in the atmosphere. Okay, now you all will ask that if bangles have so much goodness in them, then why men's are not wearing them? Actually, men's wear bangles too, except that they are not called bangles. They are called Kadiam in Telugu, Kadaga in Kannada and Kada in North India. Over the years, the tradition has been through phases in change in lifestyle. Now. They are worn as bracelets in form of style and social symbols. I hope now we know that bangles were not just ornaments. They also offer many benefits and their practices have scientific reasons. That's all I have for today. Thank you for your time. I'll be back with a new video soon. Till then, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.